President Buckingham enters her fourth year in office this week, and we're taking this week to assess and analyze President Park's three years in office, as well as the challenges ahead in the years ahead. Tonight, in the second of our five part special series, our foreign affairs correspondent Kwan Sua sheds light on the Park administration's diplomatic policy. Negotiations, handshakes, and agreements with leaders from across the world. Some 30 overseas trips in three years, more than any other South Korean president in history. Efforts to bolster Korea's relations with its foreign partners, building international consensus on reunification of the two Koreas, and cooperation on denuclearizing the North have been key goals on the Park administration's diplomatic front. The terms summit diplomacy, sales diplomacy, and unification diplomacy have been omnipresent during President Park's three years in office. This concentration on diplomatic performance reinforced relationships with the U.S., assessed as being at an all-time high, as well as with China, particularly on business matters, with the effectuation of the Seoul-Beijing free trade agreement. I think she was wise to, early in her term, make a couple of trips to China and uh, cultivate a good relationship with Chinese President Xi Jinping. She seems to have a pretty good relationship with Barack Obama. But other than that, I, I, I would have to just say that the, the relationship with China is the biggest one, which is appropriate because China is becoming more and more important to the South Korean economy and South Korean politics in general. Uh, China is often pointed to as, a, as the country that has the most influence over North Korea. But in the wake of North Korea's recent nuclear and long-range missile tests, experts have noted the lack of cooperation from China in global efforts, led by President Park, to punish Pyongyang for its continuous violations of UN resolutions. I think uh, she finally realized that um, you know, China would not uh, take care of South Korea's interests much compared to Chinese own interests. I think uh, now she's uh, moving towards a... Uh, uh, some different uh, trajectory of her policies so that uh, the result and objective of her policy would be more pragmatic rather than something based upon a trust or some uh, high expectations on other neighboring uh, superpowers. Precariously positioned between global superpowers, the U.S. and China, Korea's approach in dealing with North Korea is seen as crucial. Some recommendations I have is why don't we have uh, South Korea, North Korea, U.S. trilateral uh, dialogue? It is the U.S., not China, that North Korea wants to have a dialogue with. So I think throughout the trilateral dialogue among North, South, and the U.S., maybe we can share and increase our separate objectives into a more common objectives. While North Korea remains under the international spotlight, President Park will also have to face other challenges in her fourth year, one being follow-up measures to the so-called comfort women issue. Less than two months after President Park and her Japanese counterpart Shinzo Abe's first summit meeting, the landmark deal was struck to settle Japan's sexual enslavement of South Korean women before and during World War II. Despite the apology on behalf of the Japanese government and compensation of 1 billion yen, roughly 8.8 .8 million U.S. dollars, issues remain, including Japan's recent report to the U.N. denying the existence of records on the military's forced recruitment of wartime sex slaves. Unsolved territorial issues with Japan, as well as ongoing talks between Seoul and Beijing on a maritime demarcation line, are also tasks that must be addressed during the remainder of Park's term in office. While it's good that President Park has firm stances on issues related to North Korea and China, I also think she should be a bit more flexible. As we are in a transition period and a power struggle between the U.S. and China, I hope South Korea strengthens its diplomatic front. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.